Hi everyone, I wanted to share with you my sewing machine album and this is using the Tim Holtz Crowded Attic Paper Collection. Really gorgeous papers. It had a few um, design papers that had to do with sewing and so I thought this um, collection was just perfect to add to my album. And I incorporated a lot of um, my favorite Tim Holtz products into this album. And I'm going to share with you throughout the video the products that I used. And for the tags um, on my pages, I use these digi images that I got from Etsy. And this is from Love Creation Gal. And I'll put a link down below. And these tags are about uh, two, two and three quarters by, I think, one and a half in size. Really adorable tags. I mean, it just went perfect um, with the sewing machine album. And so let me share with you. I added design paper to all the pages and I distressed it with my favorite vintage photo. I bind it with a one inch binding ring and then I added some um, crinkled seam binding ribbon. And I used the Crafty Secrets Material Girl stamp set. Um, the stamp set was just perfect to go with um, the whole theme. And I stamped the sentiment that said Little Sewing Company onto the design paper and then I used the Spellbinders small um, deckled rectangle die and I used the smallest from the set. Here's the wooden spool that I add to the top. I hot glued that onto um, the spinning um, spool part here of the album. And then I um, distressed it with some vintage photo and added some of the ginger um, alcohol ink to give it more of an aged look and it's um, from Adirondack and then I added some rock candy stickles to the top and then to the bottom as well and it's my favorite the distress stickles in the clear rock candy and then this is using um, the Tim Holtz sewing room die and this is the dress form I added the design paper and I love this image of this vintage lady so I placed her right in the center of the dress form and then I placed that uh, design paper in the sewing um, embossing folder um, from Tim Holtz Alterations line. And I placed it right here where the scissors is at. And I love these embossing folders that he designed because the impression is so deep. So it already gives that distressed look um, to the design paper, um, which I really like. And then I edged it with the brush corduroy added this beautiful little mini rose from Jan and the vintage laces throughout the entire album are from my mom and they're really beautiful vintage trims here is um, a crocheted flower that my mom also made for me I love these they're really um, adorable to add to your projects and then I added this recollections crocheted flower and then I am roses rose um, these leaves right here is using the tattered leaves die and the material that I used was from the piece by piece and they create really beautiful leaves. Um, let me show you a couple samples. I actually posted this on my Facebook and Bev has just a ton of beautiful colors. This is the one that I used. Really pretty chocolate brown and you could just make really adorable leaves using um, the tattered leaves dye. I love this color right here really pretty. So those are some samples. Um, so I added two right here and then this is uh, my pocket envelope die. I'm using the design paper and then I also place that on this part of um, the sewing embossing folder. And I love how it came out. And then these um, are one of the tags from the Digi tags really cute. I just dressed the edges using my favorite um, Tim Holtz tool which is my distressing tool. And then I added a vintage button and then I added a little safety pin to hold that button down. And these little tags fit perfect into these little pockets. And then this is a butterfly that I cut out from the design paper. Just dressed it with a brush corduroy and then added the rock candy stickles. So that's my cover. Um, inside page here. This bling is from Want to Scrap. It was basically silver and then I added the ginger um, alcohol ink to it. Um, here's another one of the tags. 
really cute. Added a Seven Gypsies pin on top. Um, this is the Prima Flower. I stained that with Lindy Stamp Gang Moon Shadows Mist in the Burnished Brass. Love this color. As you can see, I use a lot of it. And then the center. And these flowers I got from Drew, and I'll put his link down below. And this is the Starburst Stain, oh, I'm sorry, the Starburst Spray in the My Mojito Green, which is one of the new colors. Really gorgeous green. I love the shade of it. And I love the combination of the two colors put together. And then these leaves, these are from um, Recollections. Um, these were these leaves right here. I stained it with the Distress Stain in the Antique Linen. And these are um, Dauber Tops. And then I added the Rock Candy Stickle um, to the top. And I love the color that came out. And then I added a um, thimble. I just hot glued it onto the leaf. And then this sentiment is from the design paper. It was perfect because it said already, always ready for use, which is, you know, the sewing machine is always ready to be used. And I thought it was just perfect. And I distressed it with the brush corduroy and added um, rock candy stickles to the top of that. Um, on this page right here, this is again some more of the vintage trim. This, um, I bought this cute little sewing kit from Joann's because I wanted to incorporate um, a lot of sewing um, pieces onto this album. So it had um, this cute um, paper measuring tape. So I just distressed that with the vintage photo and then just added above the um, vintage trim here. And then these are some Scrabble pieces that I spelled out so, kind of like um, what I did with my fabric journal. And then I just dressed it with the brush corduroy. Um, this is a Sizzix lace scallop pocket envelope. And this is using the design paper. And these are some more of the tags. And I got these little button snaps. I'm not sure exactly what you call it. Um, from Joann's. And they just fit perfect onto the tags and you can get this in the sewing section. And then um, this is a butterfly from Joann's which I just alcohol ink with the ginger. And then this is actually from one of my sweat outfits. It fell off my jacket so I just kept it and then I just hot glued it onto the tag. And then this is some black flat back pearls that I purchased from Carla's Etsy shop which I'll have um, her link down below. And then on this page right here um, this is using the ATC size design papers and this is what I love about his paper stacks because he has different sizes that you can work with. Um, he has the 12 by 12, the 6 by 6, the ATC border strips and um, it just worked perfect so I took two of them and I just layered them on top of one another. Added this petal um, card um, envelope die cut on um, the top of it was some design paper and then I added some more tags these are the dress form ones and I added these little pearl um, clips here these are actually meant to go on your hair and then I just alcohol ink that with latte and then add some iron roses flowers some more of the butterflies that I cut out and then this is on an ornate plate I love these and then I added the the sentiment inside, cute as a button. This is from that Joann's Sewing um, Stamp Set. And then this page right here, um, this is using the new Movers and Shapers. It's um, the vintage, um, hold on, let's see here. It's the mini cabinet card, sorry. It's the mini cabinet card. And I got this from Carlene, um, Pink Scrappers Boutique. And I added some design paper on top. Um, I used the medium weight chipboard and then I added a button right here which I just stressed with um, vintage photo and then um, some um, ginger alcohol ink to give it more of a aged look and then I just adhered one of the tags and this tag was perfect um, to go with these little button snap things because it also had that image um, on the tag and I thought it was really cute and this is some more of the vintage trim it's one of my favorites that my mom had given me. And then these are cute, the little Tim Holtz vials. I basically placed the little safety pins inside and it fit perfect. And then 
um, some I Am Roses flowers. These are the individual um, curled petals, which I just layered three of them on top of each other and um, distressed it with the brush corduroy and then added these cute roses I got from Jan. Um, this page had some butterflies and moths on this design paper, so I just painted some rock candy stickles on top and then I made this butterfly here using some of my material and then I just placed a tag one of the cute tags with a safety pin and a sewing machine um, charm and just tucks like that this page right here this is using the mini baroque die um, I used medium weight chipboard I covered it with the design paper and then added a butterfly right here and then more vintage trim and some cream flatback pearls and then this is the um, longer uh, vial which I added actual sewing needles in here and then I wrapped some lace trim around it and some iron roses flowers and then I made a little book and they come in a row of four little ATC cards on his design paper so I just fold it like that because I love this one. It says student notebook and I made that as the cover. I distressed it with some brush corduroy and then used my distressing tool. And then it just tucks in here. I placed two dimensional um, pop dots on both sides. And then this page right here, this is another vintage trim my mom had given me. I created it as a pocket. And I just dressed it a little with some brush corduroy. I use these ATC size as my photo mats. And I took my mini stapler, which I love, um, from Tim Holtz, and did like a stitch using the staples on the top. You can see that? And I loved um, how it came out. And then I just add some rock candy stickles to some of the buttons. So these are like my little photo mats. And this um, banner right here I got from Amy. Thank you, Amy. And this is from the Tattered Banners um, die. And then I stamped Material Girl, again from the Crafty Secrets Material Stamp on right on top. And then this is using the Sewing Room die, the wooden spool. I mean the spool. And I used some medium weight chipboard. And I covered it with the design paper added some more of the vintage trim which I just stressed with the brush corduroy and this cute little scissors that came from that little sewing kit it was really red the handles and it was just kind of bright so I added some of the pitch black um, alcohol ink and then I added some of the ginger right here um, alcohol ink so it gives it more of a distressed age look added a little butterfly that I cut out and then some vintage buttons. Here I added another dress form to kind of go with the pattern design paper and I covered it with the button design paper. I created a little dress using the vintage trim that my mom gave and then used this pin as the belt. And this Iron Roses flower, I colored it with the um, Starburst Spray in the My Mojito Green and then just dress it with the brush corduroy. And then some Iron Roses leaves, which I um, added some rock candy stickles, and then these brown mini um, Recollections roses. Really fun to put together. This is another one of the petal um, envelopes. I used the file number three die, and then I um, closed it with one of these cute hanger paper clips. And then some Prima Bling, and then I cut out this image from the design paper, and then some more vintage trim. And then this one I kept kind of simple. This is the Ornate Movers and Shapers die, the mini one. And I just used some medium weight chipboard, then covered it with the design paper. I cut out this image from the design paper and placed it on top. And then I add dimensionals to the side so I could put some tags um, in the back. So that's my album, a really fun to put together. And again, I use a lot of um, Tim Holtz's products um, on this album, um, and it went really well with the, his paper collection. And I wanted to give it a more of a grunge look to my sewing machine album. And it was really fun, 
and um, I hope you guys like it and thanks for watching bye